There's Jack. Hello. Ah! <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. Hi everyone. Welcome back to our crazy life Scotland. It's Fiona here. Today is Sunday the 30th of September and I thought I would do a little day in the life. Oh, there's Brooke in the background. She's just back from a run. Having a nice banana for energy. I'm sweating. And she's all sweaty. <laughs> right, so it is nine sweaty o'clock. Betty. Sweaty Betty. It is nine o'clock in the morning at the moment. I am just out of the shower, hence the soaky wet hair. And the plan for today is we have a rehearsal for the pantomime this afternoon in Falkirk. So we are actually going to go through early to go to Home Bargains. Mm. I'm going to meet my mum and have a wander around that. Since moving out to the country, I don't know where our closest one is. Um, so I do miss having a wee wander around Home Bargains. There's a b and M's about 45 minutes away, but it's not the same. I like Home Bargains and there's been loads of different Home Bargains halls on YouTube recently. And with it being autumn now, all the nice smelly candles and things are out. So I definitely need to have a good wander round and see what I can get. So we will take you with us. And then when I get home later on tonight, I'll show you the purchases we get. Oh, there's Jack. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. What you didn't see there is Jack just came in and uh, did a moony. So uh, what I was saying is when we get back home later on, I will show you what we get in home bargains. I'm going to go do some housework now and I'll catch up with you when I get my breakfast. Okay, okay. so breakfast this morning is my healthy extra B of Quaker Oats, Super Goodness, Apple Cinnamon and Raisin with a chopped banana through it made up with cocoa dairy free milk for my healthy extra A and a little cherry Pepsi Max. See you later. Hello again everybody. It is now 20 to 11 and we are about to head off to Falkirk for a wander around home bargain. Hopefully a little bit of lunch and then to rehearsal. I've got a belly top on. Brooke's got her belly top on her Jojo Siva. Siva. <laughs> Which one is it? Siwa. Oh, Siwa. Okay. <laughs> I got it wrong in the hall. Yeah, no, Abby. Abby's not impressed. Abby doesn't like Jojo. <laughs> okay, so we will catch up with you when we get to Home Bargain, ready for a haul. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. The candles. So we've got vanilla sugar cookie. Warm apple and cinnamon, mulled pear and cranberry. Okay, so we spent too long in home bargains, so we couldn't go for somewhere uh, proper to eat. So we nipped into the M&S shop at the garage and I have got a protein pot egg and spinach, boiled egg and spinach, speed and protein. Um, sliced barbecue chicken, I'm not sure whether that's sin free or not, but I'm going to be sharing that with Abby and some normal just normal char grilled chicken that is sin free and protein and Abby also had the best thing ever sweet and smoky pulled pork rolls which were the best thing ever, the best thing ever. and Brooke where's your watermelon so Brooke had watermelon so we Abby that's not how you're meant to open that well, how you, how you it? <laughs> it's okay, you've it's done like it now. Nothing. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> um, I'm all, yeah, I am also going to have some of the raspberry <laughs> coconut water. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I, I bring you should yes, I, I bring my children up well. <laughs> I'm not a chef. I'm... <laughs> so we are just waiting at the centre where we're going to have rehearsals. And, um, yep, I'll catch up with you once we're in the hall. See you soon. So this is the hall where we do the pantomime that we're ready to rehearse in. Obviously, it's not set up properly. There was a church in here this morning, so that's what's set up at the moment. Um, so normally these chairs wouldn't be there for us rehearsing. And that is the stage that we will be performing on. Hello. And there's Brooke sitting on the stage. There's Mummy Dearest and Abby. So I'm just waiting for everybody to come in and I will take some footage during rehearsals. Oh, hold on a second. Hi everyone. Right, I just wanted to say that, um, I think I mentioned them 
last week's vlog that a couple of the ladies who do the pantomime also do Slimming World. And one of the ladies, Samantha, who plays the Tin Woman in The Wizard of Oz and should be here today, she has done so well with Slimming World. I'm not sure how much she's actually lost, but when I saw her on Thursday night, I actually did a double take because although she was gorgeous way back then as well, the last time I saw her was a panto last year, so it was the middle of December last year, the last time I saw her. And then when I looked at her, I was like, oh my goodness, she's just as gorgeous as she ever was, but there's a lot less of her. So when she comes in, I'll get her to have a wee chat with you and let you know how much she's lost. So that's us at the moment. I will catch up with you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is Samantha that I was telling you about. Samantha is going to be playing the Tin Woman. And she has done amazingly well on Slim and World. So how much have you lost, Samantha? I have now lost three stone and two pounds. Since? February. Since February. So that's how many months? Seven months? Aye, just about that. So three stone, seven pounds in seven months. Yeah. Amazing. And how much have you got to go to Target? I've only got two and a half. Two and, two and a half, half pounds. Woohoo! So stand up and give us a twirl. She is looking amazing. I, honestly, when I saw you on Thursday, I was like, my God, I couldn't believe it. It definitely works. Oh, it, it definitely, definitely does work. It does. Do you find the plan easy? I do. I'm doing it online, so right. I'm actually doing it even by myself. Okay, oh, brilliant. Um, loving the food. Meal's amazing. And I like that it's a healthy yeah. Love the calcium, love the fibre. Like yep. that you can still have a wee treat. Yeah, exactly. And it works. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you very much for chatting to us. You are welcome. <laughs> well, I take my teeth out. <laughs> Rehearsals have finished a lot later than expected, so this has happened. We have ended up at McDonald's. Yeah, so we've ended up at McDonald's. Uh, not ideal, not what I was hoping for. Uh, I was very good at lunchtime though, when I wasn't able to get, go somewhere proper to eat. I just had that chicken and the boiled eggs, so that was really good. That was on plan. And I'm now going to have just some chips from McDonald's. It's, it, well, probably be the only sins that I have today so it's not too bad. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to film the home bargains haul when I get home because it'll probably be quite late and um, but if not I will film it in the morning right before I film my weigh-in video and I'll put them up as two separate videos. Okay so I will catch you all later on people. Good morning Bye. everyone. It is now Monday morning the 1st of October. I didn't film any more one when I got in last night because I was exhausted. It was quite late I was starving so I came in, I grabbed some melon to eat and just sat and watched some telly with Jack and Abby and Brooke went straight to her bed. Um, so I thought I would just show you this morning what I got at Home Bargains yesterday. I didn't film as much as I had wanted to when I was in Home Bargains because it was really busy and to be honest Brooke was doing my head in. <laughs> it's not a nice thing to say about your own daughter. Oh, right, calm down puppies. Calm. Mm-hmm. Calm down, that innocent face. Um, yeah, Brooke was really driving me crazy. There was specific things she was looking for for making her slime, and that's all she was interested in. So, yeah, I didn't film that much, but I'm going to show you just now what I got. I am here all prepared with my receipt, so I can tell you how much things were, if I remember. Here goes. So I got two toilet brushes, just looking like that. Um, not the nicest of articles, but hey, we all need them. And I thought the stainless steel with the little cutout bits was quite nice. Uh, nicer than the white plastic things that I have at the moment. And these <coughs> were... Please excuse the dogs having a carry on in the background. I've tried to film this about three times, so I'm just going to have to go with the flow. Um, yep, so the toilet brush was one ninety nine, one ninety nine each. And quite nice as far as these things go. Now these aren't for me, these are for the girls for a wee treat. Penguin cake bars. Now if I was to eat one per bar, 100 calories, so 5 cents. I suppose that's not too bad if you were having it on a treat bowl or something, as um, Rachel from Bales1986SW would say. 
that would be quite nice actually cut up on top of some sweetened pork that would be nice um, so yep we've got those those were penguin cake bar 49 pence what a bargain for five cakes that's good I got these now these were also thanks to Rachel I think um, I think it was Rachel who was talking about them the Milky Bar and she was saying the really good thing about them is it tells you the serving sizes so it tells you that 22 pieces is one serving and one serving is 108 calories so you're talking five and a half sins for 22 pieces and if you didn't want to use all that sin wise you could have 11 pieces for say three sins and that's actually not too bad um, I probably wouldn't eat them on their own. I would maybe melt them in some hot chocolate or I would maybe melt them over some fruit or um, chop them up and put them on a treat bowl, that sort of thing. But yeah, they're quite nice. I do like Milky Bar. I love white chocolate. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love chocolate. I got some mini cheddars for Brooke or as she would say mini cheddars can I have some mini cheddars and it's a variety pack these are they're all about 130 calories per pack so six and a half cents it's a, a wee bit high I wouldn't have them but each to their own now I have got patio doors in the living room which open out onto the terrace which is lovely because we've got a really nice view from here of the loch and things it's really nice however having three dogs going crazy at anything that goes past said patio doors isn't good let's just say we get a lot of nose art on the windows so I'm forever trying to find ways of cleaning it and it's just it's a nightmare especially when me being in the chair I can't reach bits and it's just a nightmare so I saw this and thought it might be quite a good idea so it's a bit like my spray mop that I've got where you where I, I squish and mop except it's for windows so I put my my window stuff in here which I've got there somewhere and I can squish it and then give it a clean with the nice cleaning pad and then I can scrape it dry with the wee rubber bit on the back so it's a three-in-one squeegee with spray bottle and that was $1.99 again another bargain I love that shop so yeah I'm looking forward to trying that and I'll let you know how I get on with it as you know if you watch my um, videos I'm not much of a housework person. I do what I have to. And I am getting inspired by watching the cleaning hauls that a lot of people are doing and the hinge army. Um, so hopefully, you never know, Jack might end up with a housewife yet. It's doubtful. A lot of these, which are the scented vanilla wardrobe hangers. I can't remember whose channel I saw this on. Someone had got them and I thought, oh, I need to look for these. They're beside the candles because since we moved into this house, uh, we've not decorated yet, as you'll see as we go around the house. And the wardrobes are quite fusty smelling. It was an old couple that was in here and um, we've managed to get the sort of, I don't mean this in an offensive way, but it had an old person smell to it. Um, we've managed to get that out of the majority of the house. Now it's pretty much dog smell. Um, but the actual cupboards are still quite fusty smelling. So I thought if I try hanging the, these up in each of the wardrobes, then hopefully they'll smell a bit nicer. Because I hate that way. I don't want people to think that we smell. Because if our clothes smell of the fustiness of the cupboard, then ugh, I do clean my clothes. That's one thing that I do do is, if I do do, every single day I'm doing at least one load of washing. So um, I, we're not dirty in terms of our clothes. So I got seven of these and they were 39 pence each and they, I wouldn't say the smells vanilla as such but it is a very fresh smell and um, it's definitely a much nicer smell than what we have at the moment in the wardrobes. Oh, some envelopes. I was needing some envelopes just for bits and pieces as you do. These were envelope, envelope, envelopes. 79 pence for 50. So not a bad deal. Put them on my desk. As you can see, these bags have not been packed in any kind of order whatsoever. Um, Happy Hippo Cocoa Cream for Brooke. She loves these. 
How many sins would these be? 123, so six sins. A bit steep for me, I wouldn't have them. But they're for Brooke anyway, she loves them. Mm, these are for me. These are the mini Frutellas, 30% less sugar. And there's 18 little... Let me take them out. Eighteen little bars like so. They're not a bad size actually. Put it against what am I trying to do here? Against my hand, yeah. Relatively small, but they are only for that full stick. 42 calories, so two cents for the full stick. And that's something that's actually quite nice to just sort of soak on, if you pardon the expression. Um through the day if you just need something sometimes I just need something to freshen up my mouth um, and to make me feel like I've had something nice so yeah not bad and there's orange what flavours are they orange strawberry and lemon yeah so quite nice Hinge Army I believe um, I don't actually watch Mrs Hinge but I watch people who watch Mrs Hinch, if you get where I'm coming from. So yeah, I believe this is a Hinch Army thing. Bicarbonate soda um, for cleaning. I'm wanting to get the my drains, my sinks and things all nice and clean. So apparently if you pop this over your sink and then some Zoflora and then boiling water, it freshens them up nicely. So I've got some of that. And this was bicarbonate soda. 99 pence for the 500 grams, so that was good. Oh, the Happy Hippos were 89 pence for the five pack and the Frutella minis were £1.49 for the 18 pack. See what I mean about healthier things being more expensive? I kind of thought with the sugar tax that you would think that something like Frutella with 30% less sugar would be less expensive than Happy Hippos that are full of sugar. But uh, hey-ho, what do I know? It's all up to the government, isn't it? Political discussion for another day. Right. Oh, I got a candle lighter because mine died on me the other day and none of us smoke in the house so we've not got lighters or matches or anything lying about. So I had to get one of these. That was, oh, there we go, 79 pence, even cheaper. Good, good. <sighs> Spray starch. Not for me. I don't do ironing. There's my confession. I don't do ironing. I use a tumble dryer and as soon as everything's dry, I take it out, shake it and fold it and it's not got any creases in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm lazy when it comes to household stuff. I told you that. So the spray starch is not for me for ironing. The spray starch is for Brooke for her slime. That was one of these things that she kept nagging me about when I was trying to film. And this was 99 pence. So I'll leave that there for her, for her slime. Domestos bleach to go with the toilet brushes, just to give the toilets a little freshen up. Nothing overly exciting. That was Domestos, zero lime scale, a pound. Astonish window and glass, that's to go in my little squeezy bottle to squish the windows. Hopefully that will work. Distilled vinegar, again, just for cleaning. Um, again, with the, the whole hinge army thing. Caramax. Um, uh, this was another thing that I fancied after watching Rachel, I think, along with the Milky Bar buttons. These ones, one serving is 23 pieces, and for that it's 103 calories, so five sins for 23 pieces. And again, you could half it. Uh, you could have half the amount for half the sins. So, yum, yum. Now, this was something that I saw and I wasn't sure what it would be like sin wise so I decided to get it and then check it out. Now as you can see it is open because I did measure it, I did weigh it because it says for 15 grams it's 75 calories so that's three and a half sins for 15 grams so I opened it to find out how much 15 grams is and it is that. 
So you get three pieces for three and a half cents. So around a cent a piece. And I had a bit last night and to be honest, it's delicious. And because it's dark chocolate, it's Bourneville dark chocolate with orange. Um, because it's dark chocolate, three pieces is more than enough. Um, in fact, just even the one piece that I had last night to taste it was really satisfying. So I'm quite, quite impressed with that little find. I'll definitely be getting that again. Um, I never used to like dark chocolate, but I'm getting to like it now because it is a lot healthier. It didn't actually taste as dark as a lot of dark chocolate, to be fair, but for a cent a piece or three and a half cents for the three pieces, I'm going with it. It's nice. So I took up the Bourneville was... I told you I keep forgetting these things. The Bourneville was 99 pence for a bar. So that's not bad. I picked up a bar for my dad as well because he loves dark chocolate too. Right, so I also got some toothpaste and that's for Brooke. Clearly not for me because I don't have any teeth. And this was Aquafresh. A pound. Another good deal. Now the things that I really went in for, well, the things I could get that I really went in for. Woohoo! Candles. Obviously it's autumn, so it's candle time. Um, I've still got, I always have some kind of um, like cinnamony, apple-y kind of candle burning all year, doesn't matter. Um, not all the time, but just every now and again if I think the place needs a, a little bit of a refresher smell-wise, um, I pop one on. But I thought it's autumn, it's coming up to Christmas and Halloween, so time for some new smells. I know the apple and cinnamon is a kind of Christmassy smell, but it's my favourite, so that's what gets burned all year. So I got something a little bit different. I got the Whitford & Co. Gingerbread, which is... Smell. Oh, it smells like gingerbread. Yum, yum. And these candles were... 2 99 were they? 2 99 yep, for that, which is a... An absolute bargain so I'm looking forward to smelling that now my plan is I'm gonna put that one in the living room and alongside it the way our living room set up um, the corner that I tend to sit in is furthest away from the door and it's got quite high shelves behind me so I have a candle lit up there and it's lovely my little corner smells delish however when you actually come in the door you don't really smell it the same and I don't like having a lit candle over that side of the room because we've not got any high up areas and with our dogs being as crazy as they are and with Rannoch being the size of a small pony, tails go flapping and candles go flying. Not good. So what I do is in that side of the room I've got a wax burner but it's quite hard to have both burning at the same time because if it's different smells it's a wee bit weird, it kind of clashes. So. I noticed that home bargains have wax melts in the same scent as their candles. So I got the gingerbread wax melts as well and you get two, four, six, eight little cubes in there and these were 79 pence. Absolute bargain again. How many times am I going to say bargain? So yeah, it means I can have the candle lit and the wax burner on at the same time and the whole room's going to smell nice. I did the same with this candle which was, what's it, vanilla sugar cookies. Again, Whitford & Co, 2 .99. Mm. It doesn't remind me of a cookie, I don't think, but you definitely get the vanilla smell. And probably sugar, this might make me hungry, actually. Um, my plan is to have this one lit in here, which is my wee sort of craft room, work room type thing. Um, so I'm going to have this on my desk burning and I'm going to have my wax burner with the same scent. Again, 2 99 for the candle and 79 pence for the wax melts. And last but not least, I also got the Glade apple and cinnamon wax melts again it's just my favorite smell brooke's got a wax burner in her room now as well she's wanted the apple and cinnamon for her wax melts i would never give her a candle in her room because she's nine and no uh, that was 179 so that was a pound dearer um for slightly less than the whitford and co ones but that's the ones that she wanted and still 179 is not overly expensive so i was happy with that 
So that's what I got at Home Bargains. Now, what I really wanted, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want, was Zaflora. Of course it was, that's what everybody wants. And that's why they didn't have any. I also really wanted a squishy bottle to put my Zaflora in because I have got some just now. I just wanted the new smells um, and they didn't have any of those either. And when I asked about them, they basically rolled their eyes and went, see that bloody hench army? <laughs> that was her exact words. So yeah, every time they're putting them out, they just disappear. They're just flying off the shelves. So the next time I'm at b and I will pick up uh, some Zaflora and hopefully a squishy bottle. So that's everything that I got at Home Bargains and that was my day in the life and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm away off now to record my weighing results. I'm not going to tell you. I have weighed but I'm not going to tell you how I got on. You'll need to wait and see. So I'm going to go and record that now. So if you wonder why I'm wearing the same clothes in that video and I'm in exactly the same position, that's why I'm about to do it right now. Okay, I'll see you later on. I've waffled on long enough and I hope you enjoyed it. Hello to any new subscribers and welcome back to all my existing ones and I'll see you soon. Bye!